Hi, my name is Dave Uptegrove, state representative from the 33rd district, which includes the west half of the city of Kent. I'm filming this here on a Friday afternoon at the state capitol. I'm drinking an extra large, ginormous Diet Coke to help me power through the remainder of a long week. Unfortunately, it makes me have to use the restroom, so I'm going to have to talk very quickly. I'm here at a statue of George Washington, and it was George Washington who said, a nation of sheep begets a government of wolves. Actually, I'm making that up. That was Edward R. Murrow who said that, but I'm standing next to George Washington. Anyhow, and I say that because I'd like to talk with you a little bit about civic engagement, how to communicate with the legislature. Uh, the first thing I want to talk to you about is the famous state Supreme Court case of Pickens versus Rubin. Do you pick the nose or do you rub the nose? There is no such court case, but that is what we do with the statue. Actually, at the statue of George Washington here in the Capitol, we rub his nose for good luck you're more likely to get your bills passed and get good things done if you rub the nose of George Washington. But in all seriousness, it is critical that you communicate with your state legislators. It's critical that we reach out and understand what people in our community are thinking, our friends, our neighbors, and people like you, people I don't even know. I'd like to know you, but I haven't met you. Uh, to this end, uh, this past week, my colleagues, Senator Karen Kaiser, Representative Tina Orwell, and I held a town hall meeting, an education forum in downtown Kent at Kent City Hall. About 50 of you showed up. We discussed education reform, how we're reforming our education system to make sure our local schools get the money they need. But it's not just the town hall meetings. Believe it or not, I will meet with you at a time and place convenient for you to discuss any issue you'd like. How do I get a hold of you, you're asking? Is that what you're asking? I thought so. You can get a hold of me by dialing 411, saying City of Des Moines, and asking for Dave Up the Grove, because I am the only Dave Up the Grove in the Des Moines phone book. Call me at home. We can get together. It's actually more efficient to call my legislative office in Olympia, and that number will be on the screen at the end of this, because when you call me at home, I'll scribble down the information on the back of a napkin, then I hang up and then I call my legislative assistant and she gets it on my calendar. So it's better to call Olympia. My legislative aide, Rachel Smith, will answer the phone, get on, your cal get, get on my calendar, and we can talk about issues. I like to meet at the Pizza Hut up on Pack Highway and Kent Des Moines Road, or I can come to, uh, come to you. In addition to meeting in person, feel free to call and share thoughts uh, at the office. I can return calls if you think that's important. It's usually nighttime because I'm in committee all day. Email is a great way to get a hold of me. I sit up at night and read my emails. We get hundreds, actually thousands, during the session. And I do my best to get back to everyone. Uh, you can find that email address at the end of this presentation as well. Uh, we have something called the Legislative Hotline. It's a toll-free number if you just want to call in. One, if you don't want to pay long distance, which is nice. You don't have to pay that long distance call. You can call the, the Legislative Hotline. And at the Legislative Hotline, um, it's actually a bank of operators that takes messages. So if it's a simple message like vote for this bill or vote against this bill or put this money in the budget, that's a more efficient way to go when I get those messages compiled and provided to me. You can track what we're doing and find out what's going on on our legislative website, which is www.ledge.wa.gov, L-E-G dot W-A dot G-O-V. You can sign up to get a committee agendas or to track a bill, uh, find out who your legislators are, because you know if you're in the east half of Kent, I'm not your legislator. You want to talk to someone else. You can talk to me, but I won't listen as much as I do to the people in my own district, because I represent them. You also can check out tvw.org. It's essentially the C-SPAN for Washington State. If you're ever flipping your news channels and you're scrolling up to try to find Comedy Central, you skip by the channels with everyone talking. Probably this one that's on right now, perhaps, you'll see one with a lot of talking heads. That's TVW, and they film our committee hearings and floor action. And on their website, you can go look and watch at committee hearings and floor action that happened previously. So tvw.org is a great way to go as well. But uh, as I started by saying, a nation of sheep begets a government of wolves. If you don't communicate, if you don't speak up and make sure that your opinions are heard, then you end up with special interests and lobbyists running this place. And to tell you the truth, at this point in session, I am so tired of lobbyists and special interests, I, could, uh, I love coming home and, and spending time with real people, friends, and families. We also need to do more to make sure that the next generation understands their rights and responsibilities as citizens, how to exercise them, where they come from, um, so that our, our young people get a good education in civics. So we need to make sure our schools are doing that. We have a page program here. If you're 14 but not yet 17, come spend a week down here. You get paid. You learn about it. We've got a college internship program for undergrads. If you're a junior or senior in our four-year universities, you can find out about that on the website. Uh, but most of all, keep in touch. Share your thoughts. i got to run. 
Thanks.